All right, here we're going to be looking at a consolidation of an intercompany sale of a depreciable asset, which is later sold to an outside third party before it's fully depreciated. So for our example here, Corporation P, the parent, sells a machine here to Corporation S, the subsidiary, on 1-1 of the first year here, X1. And then Corporation S, the sub who purchased that machine, then uses this machine here for two years, and then it sells the machine to an outside third party at the end of the second year. That would be 1231 x2 or the second year here so uh, looking at our example here corpri the parent the seller the machine their machines original cost here was sixty four thousand dollars to them they had an accumulated depreciation at the time of the sale here on one one x1 of twenty four thousand on it so they have a machine book value of forty thousand dollars on this uh, machine that they're selling here the corporation s here so that's uh, the parents book value here on the at the time of the sale here and then Corp P sells this machine here to the subsidiary here for sixty thousand dollars in this case so uh, Corp P or the parent here has a gain of twenty thousand dollars on this sale they had a book value of forty thousand and they sold it to the uh, subsidiary corporation here for sixty thousand dollars so what we have to look for in these consolidations here is determine what the consolidated depreciation base is here so for consolidation purposes here we use this book value here at the time of the sale here for corporation P as our depreciation base here so that was forty thousand dollars here we're using five years remaining life on this machine and for a straight line that would be eight thousand dollars per year and then for corporation s the buyer the depreciational base here would be in this case their purchase price here of sixty thousand divided by five years or twelve thousand dollars per year so for our consolidation purpose here is to do determine any gain or loss uh, for the sale between the affiliated companies and any gain or loss to an outside third party here. We use this uh, these different uh, depreciation basis here, uh, the 8,000 per year and the 12,000 per year. Okay, now to determine any gain or loss on the sale of this machine to the outside third party. So Corporation S sold the uh, machine here to the outside third party on 1231 of X2. That was the end of the second year. So first looking at Corporation S here. Uh, they made the sale here to the third party for $28,000. So they sold it for $28,000 here, the machine. And then they had uh, the machine cost them sixty thousand dollars that's what they're carrying on their book here at the end of the second year and they had accumulated depreciation of twenty four thousand dollars on the machine here for two years that was based on their depreciation base here of twelve thousand dollars per year so uh... the difference between the cost and their accumulated depreciation gives them a book value here of thirty six thousand dollars so compare that to what they received for it here twenty eight thousand dollars less their book value of thirty six thousand gives them a loss here of eight thousand dollars now looking at our for our consolidation basis any gain or loss uh, for consolidation here uh, again we would record here twenty eight thousand dollars for uh, the sale price of the machine here for the outside third party but then the machine cost here is based on uh, what the parent the parents uh, uh, cost or their basis at the time of the sale here to the subsidiary and that was forty thousand dollars here and again the accumulated depreciation in this case was sixteen thousand dollars here for two years that was based on the uh, depreciation base here of forty thousand uh, dollars over five years here for eight thousand dollars per year and that again was based on what the parents depreciation depreciation basis when they sold it to the subsidiary. So uh, taking the difference here between the machine cost, their book value here, less the accumulated depreciation of $16,000, that gives us here uh, a net value here of $24,000. Compare that here to what they received, $28,000. So they've uh, on a consolidated basis there was a gain here of four thousand dollars and just comparing here for the subsidiary we recorded here a loss or we uh, calculated a loss of eight thousand dollars and then on a consolidated basis it wouldn't be a loss but it would have been a gain here of four thousand dollars and that was the difference here between the carrying value that we used here for the machine cost and then those depreciate depreciated basis here the amount of depreciation per year 
Okay, now for our consolidating entries here between the subsidiary and the parent corporation. First, we have to eliminate any of this remaining intercompany gain here on the sale of that machine. And that uh, first gain that we're looking at here is between the parent and the subsidiary. So in this case, we would debit the retained earnings of the corporation P, the parent here, on 1, 1 of X, 2 at the beginning of the second year here for $16,000. And that's what they're going to realize on this, on this sale here. So just going down to our chart chart here. For year one, we had a depreciation rate here for the subsidiary of $12,000 and on consolidation basis was $8,000 per year. So taking the difference between those, that's $4,000 per year. And that's what they would, we would consider our deferred gain here. So the first year we recognized, or the parent recognized the gain of 4,000. Now for the next four years, or uh, they would have recognized here a $16,000 gain here. So that has to be eliminated here. And we can also look at it in this terms where they originally had a $20,000 gain, uh, uh, less the 4,000 that was realized here in, for the uh, first year here at 20x1, that gives us here a uh, $16,000 remaining gain that we have to eliminate. All right, next we have to convert this $8,000 loss by the subsidiary to the $4,000 gain here on a consolidated statement here. So looking up here, we'd have a depreciation expense that we'd credit for $4,000. That was the difference between the subs uh, a cons a depreciation depreciation of 12,000 and the consolidated basis here of 8,000. So that difference here is $4,000. And that's actually a reduction here in depreciation. And then we have the loss here by the subsidiary corporation of $8,000. That was up here for $8,000. And then we have the gain on the consolidated basis here of $4,000. We So it would be credit that for $4,000. So these credits here for the depreciation expense, the loss here by the subsidiary corporation and the gain here on a consolidated basis balances here with our uh, reduction here in our retained earnings. Now that converted the $8,000 loss here by the subsidiary to the $4,000 gain here in a consolidated statement. All right, for our worksheet consolidating entries here, our retained earnings here on 11x2 here to second year for Corporation P, we debit that for $16,000. And then the balancing entries here would be to credit the depreciation expense on the machine here purchased for $4,000. And then uh, the loss here on the sale of the machine, we'd credit it for $8,000. And then we'd also have here a gain on the sale of the machine here, we'd credit that for $4,000. Okay, now to calculate the income here. First, looking at the subsidiary corporation S here, they had an internally generated income of $40,000 and then there was no adjustments here. So they would get 20% of that in this case because it was an 80-20 split here between the parent and the subsidiary. So 20% of the 40,000 gives us a non-controlling interest here for the subsidiary at $8,000. Now looking here at the uh, parent corporation or Corp P. They had an internally generated income here of $100,000 and they get 80% uh, here of the subsidiaries adjusted income for $32,000. And then they get, now is where they realize the gain here on the machine sold here. So Corporation uh, S here, or the subsidiary made this sale to the outside here. And this is where the parent uh, recognizes a $16,000 gain here on that sale. So they originally had a, a gain here that was unrec uh, not realized here of $20,000. And then for the s uh, first year here, they had a, a $4,000 realized gain here for 20x1. And that was really based on the difference between the depreciation rates here. So that equals $16,000. And that's what the gain realized here would be on when that machine was sold here by the subsidiary to the outside for six, a gain of $16,000. So the controlling interest would have a total uh, income here of $148,000.